everyone, hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. The Black and Tall. Thank you so much for joining me today. Truly appreciative. Appreciative or appreciative? Appreciative, appreciative. I don't know. Same thing. Thank you for joining me today. As I promised in my previous video, and as you can see on the description below, the title of this video is How to Survive in Varsity. This is a survival guide for all undergraduate students. So you are a fresher coming straight out of matric and into varsity. This video is for you. And of course, if you are a second year student or even a third year student, I believe that you will definitely benefit from the tips and points that I will share today. So definitely do stick around. Actually, go tell your friends to come and also watch this video because all of you are going to benefit okay without wasting any time let us get into this video so if you were in matric and unfortunately due to many reasons you did not make it I would like to just spend a minute or two to encourage you. Please do not give up. It is not the end of the world, trust me. Just pick up yourself again and make something about it, okay? Please also know that you did not perform well because you are not bright there are probably many things that you should transform or change this may include changing your study methods this may include focusing more on your school work and prioritizing your work and just spending more time on your studies trust me the more you spend time on your studies the more everything makes sense so just put in the effort and try once again. I would like to advise you to rewrite. Now there are two ways that you can rewrite in the trick. Number one, you can rewrite in March and write the supplementary exams of the subjects that you didn't pass well. Let's say you are truly, truly, truly passionate about probably doing medicine. Let me just make an example about medicine. So let's say you really want to do medicine and your maths was not so great. However, your physics is high and your life sciences is high and everything else as well. Then please go back to your school and rewrite that maths. The applications of rewriting are currently opened. They opened on the 1st of October last year and they will be closing pretty soon on the 13th of February. I will be linking down in the description below some information to register in the Department of Education in order for you to rewrite your subs. If you did not perform overall, let's just say some of majority of your marks were not so good, I advise you to go back to school and do that metric again. Listen, it is just only one year that you will sacrifice to repeat that metric year and trust me, it will make a difference. As long as you apply some of the advices I've said before, like spending more time on your schoolwork, like having a designated time where you are not with your friends, you're not with your family, you are just focusing, asking extra help from your teachers, asking extra help from your peers, you know, who understand the work better than you. Sometimes it may happen that you are doing the wrong subjects, you know, you're not doing something that is for you and you don't understand the work. I know sometimes parents force you to do physics and maths, you know, those subjects that parents sometimes force us to do. But I would just like you to just restart and rewrite your matric, you know. Sometimes going to finishing schools, not that I'm not an advocate for that, but I would just rather you give yourself a second chance and just starting all over again on a clean new page and just rewrite all of your subjects. Trust me, it will do you good. But other than that, it's not the end of the world. Please do not do anything drastic. You can definitely still go back and write your trick. So please. 
please check in the description below of how you can rewrite your metric. Remember the applications close on the 13th of February. Hurry, hurry, hurry and go and register. First things first, I would like to congratulate you for passing matric. Well done. It is not an easy task. You have climbed a milestone and please do not take the step of your life for granted. It is one of the most frustrating years of your life because I mean you have to prove yourself in a year that you deserve to be in a higher tertiary education space institution. I would like to share six tips that I believe will help you as you are transitioning from secondary education to tertiary education. So without wasting any time, number one, integration. Integrate yourself with the university that you will be going to. Know the different systems placed within that university that you as a student should be using. Know where to find the different departments within the website. Know who to contact when you need help pertaining to that particular help. I would also encourage you to attend your orientation because this is where you will find all the information you need as a student, like how to register, how to do all sorts of things that you need to do and that you need to prepare yourself in order to attend your first lecture. I would also encourage you to follow your university in all of its social media platforms so that you are updated about what's happening in your varsity. You are part of that community, so you should be knowing what's happening within your varsity. Also follow your SRC pages because there are so many things and so much information as a first time varsity student that you need. And most SRC pages, they really do a great job about updating the students. Also, you will find a community there, different students who are also facing some of the challenges that you are facing and you might find some of your answers there. Number two, attend all of your lectures. I know it is easy for you to underestimate this because schooling right now is online and you will be attending from the comfort of your bed. How awesome. In our time before COVID-19, all of my lecturers were at 7.45 and I had to be there. And trust me, if you miss one lecture, you are lost. And it's very hard to stay up to date in varsity because there is just so much content. As much as you are only doing four modules per semester, each module has so much information that it requires you to attend your classes. Also know that when you attend your classes, you can familiarize yourself with the teaching style of your lecturer. You can familiarize yourself with your lecturer and vice versa and try to develop that relationship that will help you to be able to approach your lecturer in case you need help or you don't understand anything and trust me each lecture is very important number three make use of your varsity student support system our varsities provide us with an endless list of services that we should be utilizing as students. You have counseling services where you can go speak to someone if you are having challenges. Right now in COVID-19, mental health illness has increased. So I definitely encourage you to find someone to talk to if you are going through challenges. When I was an undergrad, it actually took me four years to go speak to a counselor. You know, I never believed in therapy and counseling because I'm not quite a person who talks about my issues but I only attended my first counseling session when I was doing my honors and I wished I had attended earlier because I found those counseling sessions really helping. Also there are academic mentoring services. At UKZN I am an academic mentor. 
our students in various aspects of varsity, how to cope with the studies, how to develop study methods, and we actually help them also to navigate through varsity. Please also attend those seminars and workshops that are advertised in your university website. Trust me, those will help you. And sometimes it may seem as if you're just wasting time in front of your screen. Trust me, you will learn one or two things that will definitely transform your first year experience in varsity. Also, there is a program called the UCDP. This program is found in all varsity. It means University Capacity Development Program. Within the UCDP, postgrads like myself are employed as tutors, as demonstrators, as supplementary information leaders. We work to tutor you with some of the content that you don't understand in class. We are also there in the labs, in the science labs, to help you learn to use the different scientific equipment. There's also something called writing place tutors where we help you to write your essays and your scientific reports. Please utilize these services. Point number four, develop a strong and vigorous study method. You know, it took me two years to realize that my high school method is no longer working for me in varsity. I was actually quite in shock as to how I was performing because I didn't understand. I was like, is it me who's not performing how I used to perform in high school? And I was just kind of struggling, you know, and I had to realize that no man, my method is no longer working. I need to develop a new method. So I started researching different methods and I finally found a good method that works for me. Number five, Develop an effective routine. This means your daily routine, your study routine, and your self-care routine. The daily routine includes what time do you wake up? What time do you go to sleep? You know, those two times are very important because number one, they impact the outcome of your day. And number two, they also impact the outcome of your following day if you sleep late trust me you will wake up late and if you wake up late your day will start late and you won't be able to finish everything that you need to do in a day so try to sleep early and wake up early this will give you enough time number one to prepare your day and also to do the activities within your day your study routine what time do you study do you study in the evening? Do you study during the day? And when, you, and when you study in the evening, when? Do you only study in the evenings during the weekends or even during weekdays? That is very important in order to plan out your week and plan out your days. Trust me, it will help you. Your self-care routine. Self-care is very important. This may include spending more time in bed or sleeping in and on a Saturday to rest. This includes jogging and exercising. This includes self-care, facial self-care, body care, hygiene, everything. That is very important because it will keep you fresh. Self-care, a very easy and cheap pick-me-up method in order to brighten up your mood and to make you happy. Number six, last but not least. Stay away from destiny killers. What do I mean by this? I mean that people who you know do not add any value in your life, number one, who you know that you have a parasitic relationship with. The only relationships that you should be developing in varsity are mutualistic relationships. Friendships that you bring something to the table and your friend brings something to your table. You know, stay away from people who are going to divert you and change your destiny to be the worst thing ever. Stay away from people who are going to advise you on things that end up having a negative effect on you. With regards to friends, 
I believe that find yourself one or two friends, one or just two loyal people. Stay away from these squad vibes and all of that jazz. Trust me, it will not help you. It will just cause your future to divert. It will just bring so many problems than any good. But definitely find yourself one, that one or just two friends that you have a mutualistic relationship with. And also you yourself, please don't be a destiny killer, you know, and advise people to do wrong things and change their degrees and do what you are doing, you know, just so that you have your Tommy in class. Guys, there are so many people who have followed what their friends are doing and end up not even finishing varsity. Know what you came for in varsity and stick to that plan. And also know what you are fighting for, okay? Actually, I will give an extra tip. Do not run away from your family. Your family is your support structure through your undergrad because they are rooting for you. They are so excited that you are going to go to varsity. And if you are a first time generation person that who is going to varsity, you definitely need to make your family proud. And trust me that they are rooting for you. They want you to succeed. Now, don't be like, I don't want to go home. So please, don't run away from your family just because now in varsity. So totally Malga NS Farsi J. You know you're rolling and all of that. Actually, two tips. Do not misuse your funding. Do not misuse your NS first funding. Do not misuse your NS first funding. I don't have a lot to say there. Do not misuse your money. Do not misuse your money. I know it is exciting to get money. And I mean, you get money every month, especially that period where you should be buying books. But go, go buy a fridge instead. Don't eat pizza every day and eat takeout every day. No. Buy something that is going to benefit you, you know. Uh... Yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think I'm done. And I really hope you guys benefit from these tips. Let me know if you have any other tips that I missed out. Add them in the description below. If you have any questions, I am happy to answer. Most importantly, subscribe, like this video, share this video, and click that notification button that you get every notification when I post a video for you. Bye.